the acceleration of a particle is given as a is equal to 3 meter per second square also it said when the particle is 10 meter to the left of origin so x is equal to negative 10 meter velocity is 2 meter per second so we need to find when x is equal to 0 that is when it's x is equal to at origin we need to find what's the velocity so acceleration is given acceleration is d square x dt square 3 now we need to uh, change this one manipulate this one this one can be written as d dx dx over dt and then this is actually d dx uh, d dt sorry d dt here so this one is now dx over dt is dv uh, that's v sorry this one is v so this is dv over dt now we need to uh, get rid of t because there is no information of t so we need to bring x the position displacement so we can write like this dx this one we can write like that and then we observe that dx over dt is v actually so that's v there and v can be written in terms of differentiation of dv uh, it can be written like that half v square so basically if half v square is differentiated with respect to v uh, we get v there so this whole thing will be v and the benefit of that is this dv and this dp will get cancelled so the next line we get this one now we have uh, v square and dx so this thing half v square is equal to 3 and if we integrate both side this one gets cancelled this one differentiation integration this is gone and on the left hand side it's integrated with uh, when the variable is x so this is half v square it stays the same here 3x plus c and the boundary condition that's given is when x is equal to negative 10 v is equal to 2 so half 2 square that's 4 is equal to negative 30 plus c so that's 2 there and that's 30 there plus c so c is equal to 32 so our expression of uh, so our expression here which is half v square half v square 3x plus c c is 32 like that now we need to find the value of v when x is 0 when the particle is at origin so it becomes half v square this is 0 so 32 so this one is v square is 64 and v is square root of 64 that's 8 only positive we can take uh, we should take so that's 6 meter per second we are taking positive velocity because the information that was given when x is was negative 10 velocity was given which was 3 uh, 2 meter per second and when x is 0 so that that means that the particle is uh, going to the right and so the velocity will be positive so we we should take the positive one there